Hello, and the girls, and the French girls. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you a guide, a strategy, a system on how to build good Pokemon decks for the standard format. So, you know, the same exact core trainers get used in every competitive deck. Which are they? Why are they important? And how can you use this to build your own decks? This is what we're going to cover in this video. So, let's get started. I need a happy remix. Zen Zen Sense from your name. Beautiful anime. So, let's start off with Trawl Supporters. Why? Because they are probably the most important cards in your deck. They make sure you're never hungry. You've got cards to play in your hand because no energies, no Pokemons. You're going to be stuck and your opponent is just going to get ahead of you. So, to always make sure there's something to play, you have Sycamore. You have N. You have Verse Seekers, which is pretty much both of them because you get to choose whichever. And you have Trainer Mail. So, let's start off with Sycamore. Easy. Draw seven cards, discard your hands. Wait, what? Oh, well, that's okay. Just play everything you possibly can, and if you do lose something, you can just recycle it later when you draw Super Rod. Shuffle three of any Pokemon, any energy, back into your deck, and it alleviates Sycamore's Force Discard. But with seven cards, you can have something to play, guaranteed. And N is pretty similar. You get up. Oh, to six card based on the prize card so at the start almost the same thing you don't lose any cards either but your opponent also gets a shuffle however if they're getting ahead they've knocked out a couple pokemon they'll get less cards and shrinking their hand may just take away the cards they need to win Ooh. so this is very popular been around time four of both and four verse seekers making a total of 12 possible ways you can use these. So, oh yeah, you can use this for any support, which we'll talk about in a bit. And finally, Trainer Mail. I was not a believer. I thought, Psh, Trainer Mail, why well, I put it into my deck? Now, it helps home in on items. It gives breathing space in your deck. So, it makes your deck flow better. You look at the next four cards, you see something that you need. A draw supporter that you have to be missing. A Ultra Ball to get any Pokemon you want. That's why it's good. You just it just helps you home in on cards that you have to play. So, oh, speaking of which, Ultra Ball. Okay, Sycamore is gonna give us cards in our hands, but maybe not the right cards. We still need two things. We need the right Pokemon and energies. So, Ultra Ball will get you the right Pokemon if you don't happen to draw it. You discard two cards, less cards. You're gonna refill it next turn anyway with the draw supporter. But you're going to get the exact card that you want, the exact Pokemon. So this is why it's in every single deck, four of them. Now, energies. You only try to stick with one energy type because you cannot afford to have the wrong energies. So if you were to do it the other way, you may do Professor's Letter. You may do Smeargle, but for most decks, sticking with one single energy type is easy. And that way you just have the right amount of energies. And then all you gotta do is just draw it with your draw supporters. So, how much is that? I have 13, but I'm gonna say 12 to 14 is the right amount. It can change depending on your deck. Like maybe a fire deck, which spends tons of energy. So, you may have, yeah, 14, 15. Well, something else, dark decks, psh, you can go with 11 if you wanted to. Speaking of which, your Pokemon need to attack every single turn no exceptions they have two of them better so energy bonus two common ones dce double cause energy not any element but a lot of pokemon can use them see how about uh evil tall here we go evil tall bunch of evil talls can use them right there so this one let's see how about the ex one why cyclone evil ball does boosts damage Many Pokemon from many different deck types can use DCE as an energy bonus. So this is why I have here to remind myself, okay, see if it works with that. Or how about Max Elixir? Look at the next six card, basic energy, put it straight onto your bench basic Pokemon. It was active, it'd be pretty broken. So you can have more Pokemons that can attack, 
you can switch, send them in, keep some Pokemons alive, and just energy bonus is just critical to keep momentum. So, what else? Retreat. Retreat, switch, been there since the dawn of the game started. And basically, if you discard energies while to retreat, or if that's keeping you from retreating, that's not good. So this thing will just let you clear it, and it's keeps it's just a strategic move we have escape rope which almost does the same thing but your opponent gets to switch too especially when they don't want to especially when they have something strong up this thing can help we have float stone zero retreat for one of your pokemon which fits into a lot of cool strategies but it's also alternative it takes up a tool slot though so which sort of sinks and it depends on really on your deck these are the three retreat types to Retreat your Pokemon. What else? We have Poke Tools. Yeah! Not every deck can use a Poke Tool or needs a Poke Tool, but it's persistent. It's a special type of trainers that really enhance the strength of your Pokemon, like this one. 40 more hit points, 10 more damage. Give this to an EX Pokemon, he gets 200. 220 hit points. Mega level right there. And that damage bonus often makes a difference on a KO or not. So, there are more Poke Tools. We'll talk about them in a bit. And, ooh, Stadium. Sometimes they're just powerful stadiums that give your opponent such a huge advantage. And vice versa for you. But I just put this here, just to remind myself, is there a stadium I can use? And if not, I use this. Delinquent. Discards the stadium and forces your opponent to discard three cards from the hand, shrinking it. So, yeah, just usually if there's something that helps you though, fill up with the slot. Delinquent is the supporter, and if you're really low in deck space, it's something to squeeze in because you can use it with Verse Seekers, you don't have to use it right away, and it's something to nice to have access towards. Now, oh, town map? Important? Oh no, but it's great because when you knock out a Pokemon, you can look at your prize cards, you can see something that you can use next turn guaranteed so building momentum it is big it's awesome so this is 48 cards already what are we missing pokemon let's talk about pokemon easy one easy one so we have all the trainers we need now what's left i think it's something pretty big and important it can't be pokemon right yeah now's the fun part now you get to squeeze the pokemons that you want in your deck but no where's some strategy scope out there? Well, one good thing to put in your, uh, make sure that you have is a strong basic. Something that you don't need to evolve. Something that's strong right off the bat. Uh, let's choose something from a theme deck, for example. Although most EX cards qualify, how about Lugia? Colorless fits in every single deck, and ooh, look at this hit points, 120 right away. And technically 20 more due to pressure, and you give this Fighting Fury Belt. 180 hit points, only worth one prize card, and is it strong? Oh yeah, two shots, anything, even the strongest Mega Pokemon. So, Intensifying Burn, 60 plus 60 against the EX, 120 each attack. Ooh, two shots, that Mewtwo is going down, and is it easy to charge up? Yeah, DCE Max Elixir. So, if you know, go to the shop, get tokens, and these things might complement your deck. Yeah, okay, what else? So, rule number two try to pick two main attackers that complement. So, we need another main attacker. Let's pick something uh, that evolves, something that's a bit slower, but this thing complements it because it's fast. And while he's up front, you can evolve a Delphox. Also from the theme deck, Psy Storm. Oh, very lean with the energy costs. And it has 20 damage for all energies across all, including your opponent's Pokemon. So you can use Max Elixir to charge up your Lugia and it will increase this guy's damage. And so DCE, Max Elixir together, Psy Storm is gonna hurt lots. And look at the weakness. This thing's weak to water. What's this guy weak to? Uh, lightning. So they complement me each other in speed and weakness. Oh, okay. What other combinations are out there? There are lots. 
but you know, it doesn't have to be a, a basic and evolve. It could be a basic basic. That was much easier. And we do have Volcanion and Volcanion EX, a popular strategy. And you may already know the combo. Steam up, get bonus damage, throw away fire energies while this thing will use that bonus damage and put them back on your Pokemon. Okay, basic basic, uses ability to power up. Uh, what else? We have two of all Pokemons. It works too, so Mega Alakazam. Well, technically Alakazam is the big guy because he does 30 damage in lots of different ways. He evolves, does 30 damage to the bench line, 20 to the front, and attacks 30 damage to all enemies with energies. Basically the ones they're charging up to attack you with, and you just follow up with a Gengar. One shots them all. Oh yeah, Gengar sort of theme deck, that's why we included it in the example with Evolve, Evolve, Basic, Basic, Evolve, Basic. Evolve, Evolve. Oh, purely Evolve Pokemon, too. Greninja's a bit weird because he can actually do this. Greninja is in the theme deck, but not the break. But hey, it did make it to the World's Finals, and it does counter this deck pretty badly because it shuts down the Steam Up ability using Shadow Stitching. And it hits for weakness. So we may see this card come back. Okay, so, okay, all theme deck examples, all combinations that kind of work. It's a combination, of, this frog is a bit weird. So, try to keep it to a minimum. Try two main attackers, maybe some more uh, support type of Pokemon with two main attackers. So, what else? Ah, oh, yeah, I think that's it. There possibly could not be any other trainers that'd be useful. We're done, right? I mean, that's all the deck space we need. 60 of them. We got Pokemon, we got trainers. There's nothing else you can squeeze in there. Well, you will have to make deck space, but there are possibly better options. Options that you could help make your deck better. Like, how about Shaman, which competitive players say you gotta have this. 50 booster packs right now, $70 for. What does this do? Oh. It turns your Ultra Balls into emergency or just bonus draw power. You draw until you have six cards in your hand, so you use an Ultra Ball, you get more cards, you're not going to be stuck. Or you may be able to have more options, cards in your hands to play. So that's why he's pretty big. What else? We have Octillery. Sushi Master. Abyssal Hand. You can draw until you have five cards. Every once every turn, so kind of like a more cheaper and more permanent version of Shaman, except you can't use it right away. You just have to take time to set it up. Now, I generally use Auxiliary when I'm playing other evolved Pokemon, so I would use Level Ball, any Pokemon with 90 hit points, the basic baby version, the stage one version, or this thing gets any evolved Pokemon. Put the basic down, you can use it. And because it shares synergy with Octillery, and whatever evolved Pokemon I'm using, that's why they work better that way. Now, what else? We have other supporters too, like, oh yeah, Wally. Doesn't count as an evolution, skips that rule, so if you can evolve Pokemon on your turn, evolve it again with Wally. And that's where evolution sticks. They're not as quite as popular because you know basics, fast and easy. And well, if you're not using basics, you can't use fighting theory belts. So you would have to go for assault vest. DCE's popular, so a 40 damage shield. Excellent. Turns these guys turns your non no, evolved Pokemon to technically EX levels too. Or even better. How about uh, bursting balloon? You attack the thing with bursting balloon. You take 60 damage for just one item it is crazy strong if your opponent has no way to deal with it by Xander. So, oh yeah, it works really well with Eco Arm, which is right here. Yes, you can recycle those because once you play the Bursting Balloon, you can't, it gets discarded at the end of your opponent's turn. So if they don't attack you, yeah. And that's how you can reuse your more uh, expendable Bursting balloons. What else? We have special charge because some decks really rely on DCs or special energy. So you can't recycle with Super Rod, then you may use special charge. Okay? Other supporters, we have Skyla. Get you only one trainer. One trainer, but the right trainer could matter. So this is why she's not as popular as Trainer Mail. She takes a supporter, takes a draw some draw power away from you. So not quite as big. Oh, Ninja Boy! 
brand new. And if you have a basic deck, lots of EX, and you may want to switch one for the other, surprise your opponent, then you use Ninja Boy. Basically, you switch a basic for one for your uh, deck, and then it's do something crazy. Yes, it's just brand new. I have not tried this as much, but I've been seeing crazy things with that, so we'll have to talk about that more in a bit. But the potential is there. So, we have Poker Ranger, Regice. Usually to counter Regice. We have Hex Maniac. Everybody uses, lots of decks use his abilities. This can shut them down for a turn and give you an advantage. Okay. And what else? We have Enhance Hammers. DCs, they are everywhere. So, doing this can slow your opponent down, give you the time you need to set up and just overtake them. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I can squeeze into most of my decks. Anything else? Yeah, you still want to go on? We have Team Flare Grunt for the same reasons we have the, the Enhanced Hammer, except it is a supporter, but you can discard any energy. As I was talking, other stuff. All right, more specific. Or the last part. We are going to cover trainers that are specific to certain strategies, but very useful for them. So, let's see, how about uh, Hoopa? Yeah, Hoopa gets three EX cards straight from your deck right into your hand. That's huge draw power and giving you the biggest powerful cards in the game that quickly? It's great. It's great for Mega Decks. And speaking of Mega Decks, you get like the Mega Pokemon, EX Pokemon, Shaman, even more bonus draws, and Mega Turbo. No, you don't get the Mega Turbo, but this helps out that sort of strategy. Attach an energy from your discard to your Mega Pokemon, the strongest Pokemon types? Yeah, who needs Max Elixir for that? Mega Pokemons aren't basics, and you would switch it out for that. Okay, what else? We have, oh, say certain evolution-based decks that don't use a break, but use a stage two. Okay, well, this card, you go from the basic, you go straight to stage two, skip that in-between turn, get a bonus turn involving, and get those stage two out faster. Huh. So, only works for those type of decks. What else? What if you had to discard something that you couldn't quite get easily back at your hand? Say a double dragon energy. Mega Rayquaza, dragon discards two energies, and sometimes it has to be double special cards. So, this card, puzzle of time, you get two of them in your hand, you get two of any card you want back into your hand. And some, well, decks do really prefer puzzles of time in their hand. Like those. What else? We have, oh, energies, fishermen. Get four basic energies from your discard back into your hand. It's a supporter. It sucks. But some decks discard energies like crazy. Volcanion, Greninja Break, and they all have fishermen. But if you don't have, if you're not those cards, you don't use these cards. And the Super Rod is just gonna be good enough. Other draw supporters, we have Ace Trainer, which is kind of like an end, but only works when you're losing. So you can't use it right away like an end. That's why you don't see it as much. We have Shauna, we have Birch, which Shauna gets you less cards than end at the start. But over time, it gonna well, I should get winning. It even out. But because of his lower base draw supporter, it's not quite as popular in Birch. Coin flip. Ooh, sometimes you get low four, but other times seven. So they do sometimes see uh, see some play if N and Sycamore don't sing well together. We do have Judge. Only four cards. You're always going to get a low four cards, but you're both as well, so it kind of sucks for all of you, right? Some strategies. Yan Mega gladly require your opponents to match hand or have four cards in your hand so sometimes this is the right support to go and what if you're running tons of basic non-ex pokemons rainbow road rigid it could be useful for those sort of decks and if you want to be a jerk you want to shrink your opponent's bench because they're using rayquaza they're using rainbow road or just to hurt them overall limit their pokemon bench space play this card parallel city it's a nice stadium and we have Oh, another Poco Tool XP share. What? Well, you know, you just stick onto somebody in the bench line and they'll passively acquire free energies throughout the game. And yeah, that's it's all it's quite an underestimated Poco Tool. Only fits in certain some decks though. Fighting Fury Belt usually the way to go. Are we done? Oh, Pokemon Fan Club. It gets you two of any Pokemons 
basic EX Pokemons included, so sometimes you really want to fill your bench space quickly, this sometimes fills in. But you're usually going to need draw supporters most of the time, so you don't see it quite often. What else? Am I missing anything? We have crushing hammers. If you have the space for it, because a lot of times there's just not enough room, but this thing really hurts if it's heads. It removes energy, it slows your opponent down, and lets you build momentum and acrobike. Unknown should be here too, an acrobike. You look at the next two cards, pick one you want, throw the other one out. It, it helps you go through your deck if your deck, uh, some strategies need that, and then this card can help certain strategies. Vestal Queen, discard those Pokemons, get more damage. Or if you need a lot of empty space, quite like uh, the Night March did back in the past. Okay, I think that's it. The music is over and telling me, oh no, we're not gonna do it again. That is it. At the very start, I showed you the deck template. I tried to start with that and try to fit it around my decks. And afterwards, I gave you examples of Pokemon types. You know, how they complement each other, having a basic and having another complement, or maybe some backups, or some Pokemons with nice abilities that fit. And then you just go through maybe some of these extra trainers, they help fit into your deck. That you have to take some space out with the current deck that you're doing, or like the current template, and then squeeze them in accordingly. So, I think that is it. I think you're gonna make better decks now. So, that's it for now. I will see you next time, Integrals and the Frenchos. Bye bye.